What's up guys, DMG Tech Show, I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at Yank Pro notifications for your Pebble smartwatch. Now this is going to be my personal favorite when it comes to getting my notifications on my Pebble smartwatch as I've tried probably about 99.9% .9 of all free apps as well as paid apps and this one just kind of clears house for the rest of them. Now I do recommend it but I want to let everybody know that I believe it's only available for Android devices as well as it is an app that you need to purchase and there is an in-app purchase that you even have to purchase as well if you're looking to get the call notifications. But the good thing about this is it kind of can condense three applications into one and those three applications that I'm talking about is going to be having you get four slots for Tasker, you also get a callback feature so with all your recent calls your call history you can go into it and then press the call button and it'll make that call as well as your notifications app so it's kind of a neat little thing that they've kind of you know condensed i like when developers try to squish as many things into one since we only have eight slots available for our pebble smartwatch now taking a look at that as you see it has pretty good ratings there 4.5 there's probably people that don't like it because it can be a little confusing but the, hey that's what this video is for so i'm going to go ahead and open it up and this is what it's going to kind of look like. Now you might not have all these same settings already check marked. It might be completely blank. This is just how I kind of have it set up now. Uh, I haven't gone through it all the way because I just restored my phone. So I need to go through and double check, make sure everything is set up the way I like. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is obviously we're going to make sure that our license is verified there. Uh, the next thing is you're going to either need to choose that to exclude or include the application. And what's that saying is when you go into either your user applications or your system applications, you're wanting to include or exclude the checkmarked boxes. Now I have it as excluded. I might recommend for most people to click the include because it's a little easier to pick and choose the apps that you actually want to receive notifications than instead of just checking all the applications you don't want to. Because as you see, there's quite a bit of notifications everywhere. You know, especially when you get into your system side stuff, and I haven't even gone through here and check marked most of these yet. So I'll probably go back through and change that over to include. Uh, there's ongoing notifications, as you see there, and clearable notifications. Uh, speaking actually real quick on the ongoing notifications, think of that as more of downloads, updates, that type of stuff. So you can see it on your watch that that's actually happening. Uh, coming down to phone return home after simulated tap. Uh, what that means is if you're using another application on your smartwatch, which a lot of people are, such as Glance, uh, when you get that notification and you clear it, it'll take you directly back to Glance so you don't have to navigate through your smart or sorry, your Pebble Watch and get back into the Glance mode. You can then come down to the bottom and you can see text header size. You can adjust that to whatever size you'd like, as well as the text body size. Personally, I recommend keeping the text header size just a little bit smaller than the body size. It's because it's not the text header that you want to read. You can kind of just glance at that and get the point. Uh, it's more of the text body, the content, the rich content that you're looking to read. Now, if you want to include uh, an application or notification app in next to the name, you can do that as well. Uh, if you want to have a vibration set, so when you get a new notification on your smartwatch, you can then, you know, feel it. Uh, vibration repetition is going to be if you don't look at your smartwatch for a second, that it'll vibrate again until you eventually do look at that and realize that you do have that notification. Enable backlight, I like that, is because... If it's dark outside and I get a notification, I don't want to have to then touch my watch by enabling the backlight in order to read it. I kind of just want to, you know, pick up my hand or pick up my wrist, look directly at it, and then I can put it back down. Enable shake to dismiss. That's a hit or miss depending on what type of person you are. Uh, I'm kind of a person that moves around quite a bit. So I don't like to have the enable shake to dismiss because sometimes if I'm explaining something with my hands and let's say I get a notification, I actually shake it, I clear it, then I have to pull back my watch up, go back into the notifications, go into the notification history, and then I can see it. So it kind of, I'd rather just look at it and then, you know, quick tap, get rid of it. As well as just because sometimes you're going to need to scroll through the notification. So I need to put my hand up there and click the scroll button anyway. So might as well do that. Uh, enable timer action, that's if you want to enable it to where the notification is only going to show up on your watch for a select amount of seconds or minute, whatever you want to do, that's how that's going to work. Now, if you took in the very top right, you're going to see that there's a little three dot menu button. Go ahead and click that. You can see that this is going to be the different uh, setup of how your button, button mapping is uh, done on your Pebble smartwatch. So you can take a quick look at that. Pause the video if you want to kind of read through it a little bit fast, or slower. Uh, coming down to call notification. Now this is a paid for in or sorry in app paid uh, in app purchase. Sorry about that. Having a hard time speak. Got a lot of coffee in my system. Uh, so you can see if you touch these buttons up here, 
It will tell you which each one of these, uh, your buttons on your smartwatch do, on your Pebble smartwatch. Uh, notify for outgoing calls. So if you make a call on your uh, watch, or sorry, on your phone, if you look at your watch, there should be a picture or something saying that you're making a current call. Uh, I like to have that because sometimes I might have my headphones in and I might be in the middle of a phone or somebody may be asking me who I'm talking to and I can kind of just, you know, show them, hey, I'm on the phone right now, just let you know. Uh, display contact picture. Again, that's for the picture if you'd like to see that. Uh, enable shake for incoming, enable shake for outgoing. Um, that's going to be where you can shake to clear, I believe. I haven't actually gone through to the, I haven't really edited those, to be honest with you, so I don't want to comment too much on what that is because I could be wrong. Options for incoming, enable speaker when answering. Uh, that might be a good feature if you maybe have a third party, maybe if you have an extra Android device and you have it hooked up in your uh, car or something like that, you can have it just enabled so when you get a call, it'll just instantly go into a speaker phone. Easier to kind of get that together. Uh, keep notification during call. So if you're on a call, the notification won't be cleared away right away. Uh, follow quiet hours. Obviously, that's what that's going to work for nighttime. Um, center button, if you want to change what to do with all your buttons a little bit. That's what that's going to be done as. Uh, tasker. Now, if you want to get some taskers associated with that, you need to, oh, I need to go install Tasker. I just restored my phone. So there's a few applications that are waiting to install still. As you can see, they're up there still. And that's pretty much for the call feature. I believe the call feature is like $1.30 on top of the initial payment for Yank Pro. So there is two payments if you want to get that. Uh, the advanced setting, this is going to be where you're going to customize the layout of your notifications. So on the very top where it says test some notifications, you can write, put emojis here, whatever you want. You press the send button, it'll send it to your Pebble notification. And when you come down here just a little bit and it says font used for notification, you can come in here and edit that and then go back here and click send so you can test what it is it's going to look like. So you don't need to actually wait for a notification to see what that notification is going to look like if it's readable or not. Uh, as well as the emoji, if you want to use just the stock Android emojis, or as well as the iOS emojis, if you're a fan of that. And you can adjust the size of those. Uh, go down to remove empty lines. So sometimes you'll see in the free applications for Pebble to get notifications that you might get a lot of CSS, which is the backside of HTML. A lot of just mumbo jumbo to you know majority of people that don't understand what CSS is. That can get rid of all that stuff, as well as if there's just deadlines there that's taking up space. You might as well get rid of them and then just kind of squish everything together so it's you don't have to scroll through a bunch and you can get more rich notifications directly on your smartwatch without having to worry about looking at your phone. Uh, if you want to have your icons with round corners, uh, invert the colors. So if you see the images, the emojis that you see and they're kind of hard to see, it might be better to invert the colors. So whatever's black is going to be white, whatever's white is going to be black. Sometimes it just helps kind of pop up depending on how your, your phone's set up. And send 30 party notifications to Yank Pro, and that just kind of speaks for itself. Uh, if you want to remove some text, you can see down there. So if you get some notifications, you want to get select notifications from a certain app, but that app also sends another type of notification that you don't want to receive, then you can go into and add text and kind of pick and choose the words that are coming from that notification and add it to this list and it will make sure that it excludes that notification from ever showing up on your Pebble smartwatch. Just make sure that you don't add a very common word that's going to be associated with more than one application. The reason being is it's also going to cancel out those notifications as well. Now scrolling on back up, you're going to see the quiet hours. It's kind of universal. You know, if you don't want any notifications, you can set it up. If you have a certain bedtime, certain wait time, and you just don't want to get any notifications whatsoever during that time, maybe business meeting, that's how that'll take care of. Go ahead and backtrack real quick. Going back into those menus, we'll go to advance. Oh, that was advanced. Sorry about that. And finally, there's going to be configure tasker. Now, this is going to be where you're going to add all the tasks. Uh, it gives you four slots, which is really, really nice. Uh, now, I believe Pebble Tasker and a few of the other ones give you six slots, give or take. But that also takes up a slot in your eight slots that are available for your Pebble smartwatch. So if you only need a few Tasker slots, up to four, this can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Now that's pretty much the overall view of the you know, notification. I personally enjoy it, like I said in the beginning. I do recommend it. It is paid for application, so I do want to throw that out there. Unfortunately, I believe it is only available for the Android device. 
but I have heard a lot of people comment on it and tell me, hey, that's the best one. When I first got my Pebble smartwatch, that's exactly the app that I bought. I kind of went on a spending spree right away and just kind of purchased everything. And so looking back and have trying every single notification now, application for the Pebble smartwatch up to this date of the publish of this video, there's no doubt that this one blows the rest of them out of the water. Now, with that being said, I believe in the Google Play Store, you can buy something and test it for 15 minutes. So it's almost worth the purchase anyways, because you can kind of just do some quick tests. Uh, maybe if you have another device or somebody next to you, they can send you notifications of various kinds. And then, you know, if you don't like it after the 15 minutes, say, hey, you know, go get your refund real quick. It's not that hard. So again, that's the uh, Yank Pro notification. Uh, if you are a fan, go ahead and leave your comment below. If you won't have any questions about it, that's what the comment section is for. As always, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.